Hello and welcome. Today we are inside the Riddler's room. Listen to the rain. And text messages. So we are inside the Riddle, Riddler's room and we will learn about TCPIP. The three-way handshake. Also the TCPIP is another model a more modern network uh, uh, model. It's always compared with the OSI model that we went through. Okay, the TCP or Transmission Control Protocol for short is another one of these rules used in networking. This protocol is very similar to the OSI model that we have previously discussed in room 3 of this module so far. The TCPIP protocol consists of four layers, sometimes five, and is arguably just a summarized version of the OSI model. These layers are the application transport internet network interface. Very similar to how the OSI model works. Information is added to each layer of the TCP model as the piece of data or a packet traverses it. As you may recall, this process is known as encapsulation, where the reverse is where the reverse of this is decapsulation. Hello. Buona Daniele. The cat is walking up. Finally. After the entire day. He slept the entire day. Buona Daniela! Nah, he's not waking up. He's just, just changing the location. Okay. He sits on on uh, the pillows, bed pillows. And obviously, he sits on the most uh, comfortable one. Very similar to how the OSI model works. Okay, we read that. One defining feature of the TCP is that it is connection based which means that tcp must establish a connection between both a client and a device acting as a server before data is sent because of this tcp guarantees that any data sent will be received on the other end this process is named the three-way handshake which is something we'll come to um will come on to discuss shortly a table comparing the advantages and the disadvantages of tcp is located below so, advantages of TCP guarantees the integrity of the data, capable of synchronizing two devices to prevent each other from being flooded with data in the wrong order, performs a lot more processes for reliability, but we have also disadvantages, requires a, re a reliable connection between the two devices. If one small chunk of data is not received, then the entire chunk of data cannot be used and must be resent. A slow connection can bottleneck another device as the connection will be reserved on other device the whole time. TCP is significantly slower than UDP because more work computing has to be done by devices using this protocol. Uh, TCP packets contain various sections of informazione known as headers that are added from encapsulation. Let's explain some of the crucial headers in the table below. So, as we learned, the encapsulation at each layer, these headers are um, added together and they get bigger and bigger. More information is added at each layer. And we have in here um, TCP packets contain various sections of information on this header that are added for encapsulation. Okay, let's explain some of the most uh, of the crucial headers in the table below. We have the source port, and the description. This value is the port opened by the sender to send the TCP packet from. This value is chosen randomly out of the ports from zero to 55,535 that aren't already in use at the time. 65 
I, I think I said 56. Uh, it's 65,535. The destination port, this value is the port number that an application or a service is running on at the remote host, the one receiving the data. For example, a web server running on port 80. Unlike the source port, this value is not chosen at random. Source IP. This is the IP address of the device that is sending the packets. The destination, this is the IP address of the device that the packet is destined for, that received the data, the packets, or the data. Sequence number, when a connection occurs, the first piece of data transmitted is given a random number. We'll explain this more in depth further on. Acknowledgement number. After a piece of data has been given a sequence number, the number for the next piece of data will have the sequence number plus one. We'll also explain this in uh, more depth further on. Checksum. We read about this. This value is what gives TCP integrity. A mathematical calculation is made where the output is remembered. When the receiving device performs the mathematical calculation, the data must be corrupt if the output is different from what we was sent. Data. This header is where the data, that is bytes of a file that is being transmitted, is stored. And the flag. This header determines how the packet should be handled by either device during the handshake process. Specific flags will determine specific behaviors, which is what will come on to explain below. Next, we'll come on to discuss the three-way handshake, the term given from the process used to establish a connection between two devices. The three-way three handshake communicates using a few special messages. The table below highlights the main ones. The scene, scene, ack, ack. This is basically the three-way handshake. The scene, a scene message is the initial packet sent by a client during the handshake. This packet is used to initiate a connection and synchronize the two devices together. Sync ACK. This packet is sent by the receiving device, the server, to acknowledge the synchronization attempt from the client. All right? We send it to the server. Server recognizes that. And then the ACK, the acknowledgement packet can be used by either the client or the server to acknowledge that a series of messages packages have been successfully received. Bună, Daniele. The data, once the connection has been established, data such as a bytes or a file is sent via the data message. Yes, this is basically understood by itself. The FIN, this packet is used to cleanly, properly close the connection after it has been complete. And uh, RST, this packet abruptly ends all the connection. This is the last resort and indicates that um, it indicates there was some problem during the process. For example, if the service or application is not working correctly or the system ha uh, has faults such as low resources. The diagram below shows the normal three-way handshake process between Alice and Bob. In real life, this would be between two devices, right? And we have Alice and Bob. Alice is the PC, Bob is the server, Alice asks Bob for a piece of data, uh, initiates the synchronization, Bob acknowledges that, uh, acknowledges the synchronization, sends back to Alice, okay, I acknowledge that, and then Alice sends back the acknowledgement, accepting the connection. Any uh send data is given a random number sequence and is reconstructed using this number sequence and incrementing it by one both computers must agree on the same number sequence for data to be sent in the correct order this order is agreed upon during these steps the synchronization the client here's my initial sequence number isn to synchronize with zero Scene act the server. Here's my initial sequence number, ISN, to synchronize with 5000, and I acknowledge your initial number sequence zero. And then the acknowledgement client, I acknowledge your initial sequence number of 5000. Here is some data that is my sync plus one, which is zero plus one. Right? And in here, we also have a representation in a table. Uh, okay, I see that the device we are ours, we are us, our uh, the client, which is also the sender. We have the 
uh, initial number sequen sequence beginning from the first phase uh, going to the second one and going to the third one adding plus one to each phase TCP closing a connection let's quickly explain the process behind TCP closing a connection first TCP will close a connection once the device has determined that the other device has successfully received all the data because TCP reserves system resources on the device it is best practice to close tcp connections as soon as possible to initiate the closure of a tcp connection the device will send a thin packet to the other device of course this tcp the other device will also have to acknowledge this packet let's show this process using alice and bob as we previously as we have previously right we just uh we we, we are done with what we with our data we create the fin right we send the fin packet the server acknowledges and send it back and then we also send it back and it's done in the illustration we can see that alice has sent bob a fin packet because bob received this he will let Alice know that he received it and that he also wants to close the connection. Right? It's a both agreement. When both parties agreed, it's successful. Alice has heard Bob loud and clear and will let Bob know that she acknowledges this. What is a header in a TCP packet that ensures the integrity of the data? Okay check some this value is what gives tcp integrity yeah the mathematical calculation is made where the output is remembered when the receiving device performs a mathematical calculation the data must be corrupt if the output yes is different from what we send check some okay provide the order of a normal three-way handshake each step separate by a comma ec okay let's go back these are the as we learned these are the three-way handshakes scene act 